So, hey guys, Chelsea here. Uh, we just had the letter for April 18th, revealing the 14.0 update. And uh, luckily enough, not only did we get a video later letter, but also a text letter on the subreddit Discord server. Which means we can scroll through this and we get all of the text for those who want to read as well what was said in the video. So yeah, great change. So yeah, let's just go through this in order. So I'll give my first reaction to all of the news we got. Most of it was regarding co-op and the co-op Sugo that we already knew about beforehand, but we were prepared for that and we got some other good news too. And yeah, the update is coming on the 22nd. Not sure if that's US time or for the rest of us of the world time. Updates don't really drop at news hour. So if it starts earlier, then yeah, we'll have to wait and see for the official announcement basically. And one big news for this update is that we're getting more box space and personally this was one of my most wanted quality of life stuff since I do try to save a lot of dupe legends if we get further mechanics like level limit break stuff like that and this will make it a lot easier to save as much as I want so very happy about getting a total of 1200 new slots and it does look like this will be free slots added, not that we have to buy them. So yeah, great change. Super happy about this. Then some more info about the co-op quests. And they made some changes based on feedback. And it looks like they've actually taken the feedback to heart. So that's pretty encouraging, I'd say. Here they made a list of the changes they made based on feedback and it sounds like most things we'd want. The main thing was of course was the matchmaking. In the trial it was totally random but now you can match with friends or you can just make a room with a code which could be used for, for people like me who maybe stream and let people join to play with me. You can also match the objectives if you want to try find a random who wants to try hard or wants to take a chill. You can make some search like that. I don't think we'll have enough players playing for that to be super great. But yeah, they make the effort at least. Then some other stuff like having some method of communic communication. I don't really like the sticker stuff in like parallel alliances and stuff, but maybe it will work better in co-op. At least there is some way to communicate in game. We take that. And it says that you can also make it easy to see your per partner's status. I, I remember being annoyed by that in the trial, like you can't really see anything about your partner. So yeah, that's going to be great. Especially due to the change for the fact that we can use any crew you want. So this sounds super fun in terms of making absurd combo teams. Like I can already imagine talk making teams together with my team building pals. And then we play through together and use some absurd meme strat. I think that could be very fun. So... I am looking forward to co-op. I think it's uh, not what I'd say is the highest priority added to the game, but it's not a bad thing to add either. Here they feature a bit more about co-op quests. Uh, they talked a lot about co-op captain and honestly, I don't really understand it super well right now, but it's something you can unlock. And it does sound like co-op captain will be like the main source of potential revenue for Bandai. 
since Co-op Captain is also uh, connected to the main way of increasing drops. Um, historically, increasing drops has been their way of getting money. So it might be that every co-op quest, you're, it's preferred to use certain captains that give better drops inherently. We'll have to wait and see for that. That's just the easy guess, guess on things. What I don't really understand is the fact that we can use any unit we want and they have their own captain and like, why would, like, I guess we're kind of forced to get a co-op captain to get better drops, stuff like that. But it doesn't mean you like erase your normal captain that is most likely better. Like, yeah, stuff like that is pretty unclear to me. And it sounds like a lot of units will have the same uh, co-op captain as well. Well, I guess it's called co-op captain stats. I guess it's like a full kit and you do need to be level 115 and if they're not you can use something called a co-op tome so we have to see like how much can we get of that item might be pretty valuable at least if you want to use them maybe a newly released legend to try and get maximum drops for them for example they've also added luck and I know many people will be panicking over that, but I'd say we wait and see. It says you can unlock luck by leveling up the co-op captain. And luck is what's going to determine the drops you get when playing co-op. And yeah, like if getting to level 115 is all you need to max luck, then that's fine. But... Yeah, if you have to keep increasing luck after that, it can get annoying, I guess. I, at least we get item drops when playing that can increase luck. So I guess that's part of the push and pull of this mode that you farm it. You don't only get materials that you can use to pull later. You also get materials to increase your luck so you get better drops in the future when you play. And you can also maybe get those tomes to expand your co-op captain that could be useful for future seasons so depending on how the drops works this mode might actually be pretty rewarding to play and yeah the rewards you get when playing well they mentioned grand feast stones but i imagine it's not only that because i'm pretty sure they mentioned you can get luck drops when playing yeah it says that Luck drops are a new reward you can receive from co-op quests. Might also mean that they're only from like shopman rewards, but I really hope not. <coughs> Would be good if you can get all of these uh, from just playing. And we can get Grand Feast Stones, and I want to point out that there's different color to Grand Feast Stones. And I imagine that the stones might have different rarity. And with them, if you pull with them on the Grand Feast Sugofest, maybe you can get different good stuff. So maybe there's some stone you can get very easily and a lot of. But when you pull with it, you're not very likely to get good stuff. That's just my guess on how it will work out. And yeah, basically... This is the point of grand of co-op. You play, you save up resources, and then you have a lot of resources by the time we get the Grand Feast Sugofest. And then you will probably be able to do a tons of multis. And from those multis, you're able to save 55 units. And when the Grand Feast Sugofest ends, you get to keep those 55 units. And the weird thing is that this Grand Feast pulling is not just to get new units. It's actually a competitive pool ranking, which is a ridiculous idea. But I'm not against it. I think it sounds pretty fun. So basically, you can see that a new legend like Momo will give quite a few points. 
So basically the point to continue to play co-op and to continue to pull is that you want to get basically get as many legends as possible. And once you have as many legends as possible, you want as many high point legends as possible. And then by the end, you tally up all of the points you've got and you're put into a ranking. And the higher you rank, the better rewards you get. So that actually sounds pretty interesting. One other interesting thing with this is that it's going to be a seasonal mode, so not a monthly one. Here you have the idea we're going for, like we're going to get a very short one for Annie, which makes sense. But then uh, after May, we're going to start saving up resources for August when we get the next, next Grand Feast Sugofest. Then after that, in September, we start hoarding the new materials for November when we have the next one. And then it's going to be every three months, probably. But I like to keep to their schedule. So yeah, I'm not totally against this, but we have to see how it works in practice. But I'm all for something different personally. And yeah, co-op will start together with the Annie, basically. And then a week after, we're going to have the first Grand Feast Sugo Fest. So, yeah, the first ranking will probably be rough. A lot more RNG based on the future ones, I think. The interesting thing for me will be like how much you're rewarded for actually playing co op a lot. I imagine that a lot of the rewards will be fluff and not very valuable. But I also imagine that playing a lot will give some kind of advantage. So, yeah, like personally, as someone who likes to stream this game from time to time, this could be a great mode to just boot up the stream and play a bit. And you can probably make it, I can probably make it different ways to stream. Like sometimes I give priority to my members. Sometimes anyone can join. Maybe we, depends on how many people want to play, maybe do like a Quay or a random system to pick someone to play with me and then sometimes i can just p play with friends and make some absurd co-op teams stuff like that so yeah i look forward to playing it for sure uh, they are also going to introduce something called an action special this is most likely going to be the new rare potential ability that we have to pull dupes for they've added one of these every single annie this will be the fourth year in a row. First Final Tap, then Super Tandem, then Rush, now probably Action Special. My take on Action Special is that you use a special like normal, but it will be a special special, basically. So during the special, you'll have to watch the animation, and during the animation, there's going to be some interactive element. And the question is, like, will this element be based on the special, like if we take a potential Luffy Bonnie legend, is it that they're eating and you have to tap a certain way on like the food, potentially, like it sounds dumb, but is it something like that? Or is it going to be like a tap timing game, mini game, like some kind of rhythm game or something? But yeah, basically the better you tap, the better effect you will have. And if it's a potential ability, of course, the effect is even better the more you unlock it. But that's just a theory for now. It's not confirmed yet. They're just saying it's going to happen. We don't really have any more info right now. Other stuff. They're changing friend mission, which is whatever. We're getting more friend slots. That's really cool. That's been a big issue for a long time. So we'll see how many they add. Like if they add 500 more, or now we have like 200 now. So if they add 200 more, then maybe I can add a lot more people. Or is it just a bit more? Like we have to wait and see how many they add, but it's a good change for sure. They also say additional special for current ship, which is cool because most ships don't have a special. So I guess they're going to try and add a special to every ship, which will be amazing. So I'm looking forward to see what they add to ships. 
Uh, we're also going to get a super thank you campaign. Basically, you have to log in 10 weeks in a row. Uh, I presume every day for 10 weeks. And then you get amazing rewards. Apparently, you can get one of every uh, gold tablet, which is amazing. And a lot of games. I think they said 100 games. So, yeah, it's a no-brainer. You see all of the good stuff you can get. Like, it's a no-brainer to max out these rewards for sure. We have the Bounty Achievement Gifts, which we already knew about. We have the 10th Anniversary New Ship Quest, and it looks like it's been improved a bit. I think 1.7 times attack is new. Uh, one cool thing is it says that uh, during the actual anniversary, it's going to get even more buffs. So imagine a super OP ship for one day, like it would be hard to not try and make some cool Grand Voyage team down, just since you can if it's super OP. So I'm looking forward to what the super max 10th any ship can do. And of course, we're getting Vegapunk. We talked about this. And we're going to get some reveals for the Countdown Sugo Fest, which will basically be the end of month Sugo for Pyro King Adventures and stuff. And we're going to get more info early next week, which lines up with what we'd expect, basically. And as usual, with one of these videos, we get 30 games. So yeah, very happy they made letters in this format as well. Makes it a lot easier for me to record at least, so I take that. And I'm excited to find uh, try out this update. The first thing I'd look with the update is for all of the ships check their specials so yeah be really excited for a lot of stuff happening even if we have to wait a bit more for co-ops to start so yeah thanks for watching guys see you next time